My dear friends, once again, welcome back to Surat Sangam Reflection from Tapo. Last Sunday, we discussed on that beautiful question that Jesus asked, Who do you say I am? That is the question once again coming before us. Who is he? They were not able to understand it fully. In spite of the fact that Peter has said, You are the Messiah, Son of God. Messiah was a king of the world, someone who would destroy others, someone who would rule over others, even if it meant David. But that is not the kingdom that Jesus came to establish on earth. He came to be a great person, but he didn't come to fulfill his ambition. Dear friends, you remember when Jesus was tempted, that Satan asked him the same question. Why don't you become great? The whole kingdom will be given to you. And Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. He could not be tempted with the worldly ways. For he was walking according to the plan of his father in heaven. He came to establish the kingdom of God on this earth. And what is that kingdom? His disciples themselves were not able to understand. Today, Jesus tells them that kingdom. He tells them the kingdom that I want to establish, the day I want to follow, will be one which you are not able to understand. For on this earth, people want to be great. They are very ambitious. They want to get everything on this earth. But you will not get it. But you will get something that is greater than that. And that is which I came to establish the kingdom of love, the kingdom of unity, kingdom of peace and kingdom of joy. That is much deeper than anyone else can give you. My dear friends, I just would like to tell you something about a young man who came once and told me that I would like to become a Christian. I told him good. But he said, what will I get? I said, you will get nothing. I said, it may be possible that when you become a Christian, you may get many brickbats. People may not like you because they may say, why do you follow Jesus? Then he said, why should I become? That is the question I'm asking you. You should first know that why you want to follow Jesus Christ. Only then, if you wish to be a Christian, you should become one. Otherwise not. This is a question that comes to our mind always. प्रभु का अनुसरण करेंगे तो ये हमें क्या मिल जाएगा अक्सर हम सोचते हैं कि ये मिलेगा वो मिलेगा मैं कुछ बनूंगा शायद नहीं और बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग थे जिन्होंने प्रभु का अनुसरण किया था उनको कुछ भी नहीं मिला तो आखिर ऐसा क्या हुआ एक बार मदर टेरेसा अपना काम कर रही थी किसी की माथे से वो कीड़े निखार रही थी तब एक व्यक्ति ने कहा अगर हजार डॉलर भी दे दे मैं ऐसा काम नहीं करूंगा तब मदर टेरेजा ने कहा हजार डॉलर के लिए मैं भी ये काम नहीं करूंगी मेरा मकसद कुछ और है और यही बात हमारे सामने आज प्रभु रखते हैं हमारी जिंदगी का मतलब केवल महान बनना नहीं है बल्कि हमें एक प्रभु का राज्य को स्थापित करना है जहां पर प्यार होगा जहां पर ईदता होगा और ये हमें हमारे मन में रखना है my dear friends, therefore, Jesus is telling his disciples that my ways are not your ways. But ultimately, you will know what the kingdom of God is. When you go and walk with me, you will be walking towards that kingdom which brings greater joy to the people, greater truth to the people. People will be honest and there will be an establishment of kingdom where everyone is happy and joyful. That is exactly what Jesus came to establish. And for this he said that to achieve this kingdom, you will lose your life. But when you lose your life, you will gain it. That is exactly what he had said. Unless the grain of wheat dies, it cannot bear fruit. That is exactly a mother does. That is exactly a father does. They don't work for the children because they get something in return. But they love their children and they know that that love which they give to the children will be continued later in this world. That is the only thing they want. 
And that is the only thing that Jesus came to establish. If that is not there, no matter what we get, no matter what we achieve, will be all useless. My dear friends, today therefore, we as people who follow Jesus Christ must know that we are not going to get something of this earth, of this world, that we will get even otherwise, but we will get greater peace and greater joy and which we can give to others. For this, we must be ready to give ourselves. And that is something that is deeper than usually what we ask for. The world usually does not go by that. You see anyone for that matter, there may be politicians, there may be religious leaders or anyone else, they always want to be ambitious to get a position. That position is useless position because one day or other that will just get over. It cannot last forever. But the kingdom of God will always last forever. It begins in a small way but lasts forever when we love it and we embrace it. Thank you and God bless you.